Hello and welcome to Minard Castle on the Dingle Peninsula of Southern Ireland. So what are we doing? Well, I thought it'd be interesting for you to come along on a workshop recce with me to see what goes on below the surface, behind the scenes to make it all work. This is photo alchemy. This is the stuff that turns boring into brilliant. Understanding what time of day we need to visit a place, under what weather conditions, will the tide affect how we shoot it? That is all part of it. Now, I don't have the local knowledge for this place, but I'm working with a guy who many of you will have met called Tim Nicholson. Tim has been on virtually every workshop I have ever done and is an awesome photographer. So the first problem which we had to solve this morning was a minibus and we still haven't fully solved it, but it proved a lot more difficult than I thought it might be. The answer is no. Down here at Kerry, they don't have any minibuses, though one of the hire companies said they could get one, get one in, but at £2,000 for the week, I think not. I can't find anything at Cork Airport either, so there's no point in going down there right. looking for one. What I have found is one in the UK with free delivery and collection, can be used in Europe, and it's £800 for a week. It's whether or not there's time after the Edinburgh workshop to get across on the ferry and then drive down here. driving through this splendid little piece of scenery here and I spotted the rainstorm coming in behind some islands over there. Now I don't know if I'm going to make it or not because we couldn't pull over up there. There was a tourist backing up and getting themselves in a right old muddle. So we stopped the van down the road and I'm just going to walk back up here because don't be afraid of bad weather. Bad? There's no such thing as bad weather. Just bad clothing. So why am I walking quite so far up the road? Well, look, if I take this shot from here, look at that, doesn't it just look awesome? But why am I walking so far up the road? It's look, look at these gaps. See on the end here and there, I don't want that bit of island overlapping that headland. And so we just need to walk a little bit further up the road. So let's do it. So now we're in the right place. This is kind of precarious filming here because I'm right on the edge of a very narrow road, so I can't set the tripod up over there. But if you notice, if you look carefully over there in the distance, we now don't have... Oh, I made an old man noise then, didn't I, when I just turned around? No. We have no longer got the problem of the island being overlapped by that headland. You see, we've got a nice gap. And also this little island here, we've now got a little space just on my fingertip so that that isn't being overlapped either. Let's do it. Let's just do it, it's so easy. Right, what do we want for settings? So, so simple, isn't it? Do we need to worry about depth of field? No, it's all the way over there. Don't matter what aperture you use, it will be sharp. What about shutter speed? Not really, so long as we don't get camera shake. I'm only using a 30 odd millimeter lens. So anything above a 30th will be fine. I'm on a 500th of a second at F7 at 250 ISO. Doesn't really matter where we focus, just out there on the islands. Make sure the composition's all light up and go clickety click. I just love it. Now, unfortunately, the light has changed a little since the first drove past. But never mind, you've got to park safely.
blur or not to blur? That is the question. Perfect trees, great for a bit of panning, tree panning, not tree panning, tree panning. So if we set an exposure for whatever it should be, and it doesn't really matter as long as it's fast enough to freeze any movement, I've gone with a 60th and we get a picture like that. It's really rather lovely, isn't it? So now let's set the aperture at its smallest to get rid of a whole bunch of light and then take the shutter speed down as slow as we can get in this light, set the lowest ISO, which is 200 in this case. And if I've got an eighth of a second and a quick, look at that. Do you see that tiny movement? To blur or not to blur, it's your choice. So you don't have any nine seaters at all. Okay, no worries. Thanks for getting back to me. minibus. So the lovely Thomas who owns Ash's Bar here behind me, he knows someone who maybe knows someone and he's given us a phone number to call someone and hopefully we will get a minibus. And so this workshop recce comes to an end. I have fallen in love with Ireland, despite the cloudiness, the dark, heavy skies. I think it's worked beautifully in the photographs, moody and powerful. There's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. I've just been into the airport and found out about a mini bus. I have actually got a price from here. It's a good job I have a strong heart. Hey, worst case scenario, if I get a better price, fly into Dublin, rent one up there and drive down. It's only a morning's drive for goodness sake. If you would like to join me on this workshop or maybe another, please click the little square popping out next to me where you can find out about all of them. I hope our paths cross soon, somewhere down the road. Beyond that, be well, take care. I look forward to seeing you soon.